then to kind of uh, continue that, we have to talk about this. Um, this is a clip taken from the latest episode of The Fire and the Kid, where I guess for the whole week, they were kind of trolling, it felt like, um, regarding the whole situation with Brian Callen. Is he going to leave T-Fat K because of everything that's going on with him and newly signing to the Louder with Crowder? And they trolled it and basically um, tried to use it as an opportunity to kind of get views and clicks and stuff. Kind of gross because essentially they're only talking to the quote-unquote haters who they think they are above and you know they don't need to be addressed and they don't matter and all that kind of stuff and they live in their parents basement and they're all cheeto fingers you know kind of people but then you're doing this whole song and dance and this whole kind of scheme to basically play into the meme so brian callen basically you know spoke about it and said you know kind of cleared up the rumors and basically spoiler alert he's not leaving of course but they just kind of wanted to rumble and kind of you know play with the whole thing and make it a big meme for it, i guess whatever yeah Anything. guys there's been a lot of uh, uh oh i know there's been, I'm, I'm i'm doing crowder louder with crowder i uh, love crowder yeah i, so, I just he, talked to Crowder. yeah great he's guy my, he's my guy i'm doing Crowder. i'm on louder with crowder what do you, what there's do you been mean a lot of speculation. There? What do you mean you're on there? Hold on. Like every week it, you're flying out there? Yeah, I fly out there. And, you know, it takes a lot of time out of my day. Sure. I got family. You're going to fly to Dallas? I got a lot of stuff. You have to. You know? And so I just wanted to say that today... Be honest. It's not my last day! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not leaving Fighter and the Kid! Yeah. Nor have I ever, in my mind, thought about leaving Fighter and the Kid. How stupid are people? Okay? So I'm staying <laughs> until this... Fucking show until the spirals wheels fall off, until yeah. the wheels fall off and this flow just turns into a, like when you see the show and it's just dust and flies yeah some flies flying around when the cameras are on and you just hear a dog howling and sagebrush well I think that's, that's when, you, when I'll when be you die of old yeah. age when I'm a skeleton if one of us passes away that's when the show shows yeah down. you'll just I'm gonna be mummified just put me in here like this long time yeah. it was like 25 30 so he's not going um what's there to say about this to be fair the only reason I thought he would go was because of his lack of work ethnic really to be honest and the fact that over the whole course of the fire and the kid being around he was the one person that was kind of flaky say what you want about brendan shaw but he kind of kept the business going um he's always kind of kept that thing going you kind of know where his butter's breaded it's probably the main sort of you'd imagine money earner for him in general and he keeps that flipping ship going the fire and the kid always happens or every week there's always an episode that comes out always 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 but throughout the entire thing brian always kind of i felt treated maybe especially pre-cancel pre-rape charge or pre-rape allegation sorry he definitely treated the podcast as like a hobby he didn't really see it as a main thing he was like oh he didn't really bother yeah 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 but then over time when his career in hollywood maybe wasn't where it was going where he were kind of wanted it to go and the fact the kid was then kind of getting really popular and ascending in the charts and shit and making them more and more money and then suddenly it became a bit of more of a priority and he started to focus more on it but there'll be many times throughout the time when i was many times throughout you know past times when i was watching a show where brian wouldn't be there he'd come late he wouldn't be there straight up because he went to an interview so he went to an audition or he forgot the recording, just dumb stuff. And he just never took it seriously. And kind of felt like Brennan had to kind of kick him, pull him kicking and screaming to kind of sit down and take it seriously. And in the end, it kind of ended up being beneficial because now look, he's quote unquote cancelled, but he still has the ability to kind of pull in decent money, still be kind of, you know, in front of the camera, still kind of perform and do that sort of stuff, despite, you know, being kind of ousted from this industry. So when that whole crowd of thing happened, the conversation or the whole thing behind that, or the announcement because he's so flaky and because over the years he's had a million of his own podcasts like his own show the prime Callen show he's got that thing he does with sam Tripoli that's kind of up and down he had another podcast he's doing in his car he had a he had a un, he had a, some book club thing podcast that like he's got all these projects that he never kind of follows through he's the ultimate non-follow through of a person so i just assumed because he seems like a person that doesn't really cope well in terms of doing many things at the same time he maybe would like let something slip and because he's at a stage of his life where he's legitimately paying alimony and he's obviously got another family he's looking after because he's got a newborn it just maybe would make sense that he would quit one thing because the other thing's making him more money but clearly in this sense maybe because he's you know he's in a situation he maybe thinking, you know what I'll, i'm gonna double dip actually instead of doing that i'll just double dip 
and that's probably why he's doing what he's doing now going forward you know it's better just to have two sources of incomes and just focus on one and also you know there's no guarantee that the crowd of thing will last you know as long as the fighting the kid anyway he could be one guest that they have now and then they figure out he's not a good match because i watched you know i did watch a bit of the stream of brendan sorry of brian cannon on louder and crowder and let's be honest wasn't the greatest um he didn't seem that comfortable with those guys just yet the jokes weren't landing just yet um he just seemed a little bit clunky and whatnot around him and crowder is kind of uh um he takes up a lot of space you know he's not really somebody that i feel like plays nice with others in a way especially the com comedy sense because it feels like to me he was always like a bit i don't know maybe he's he always feels like some he always gives off the energy of a guy that kind of had aspirations to be a stand-up himself and never really fulfilled that dream. So when you're in a room with another stand-up comedian, there's like there's that kind of weird inclination to kind of you know prove you're funny, and he's not really you know giving space for him to kind of breathe either for Brian. So you know maybe it'll work out, maybe it won't. But them kind of playing into it and turning it into a thing and trying to announce it this way is kind of cringe because they're essentially talking down on people that do this sort of stuff, but then they're also playing into it for clicks and views. So they obviously, as they always do, talking out both sides of their mouths. But, you know, in general, we don't really give a shit. I don't really give a shit because the show's fucking terrible anyway and I don't watch it anyway. Um, and, you know, if they do want to keep doing it until the wheels fall off, that's the whole reason why the show's terrible. Instead of pivoting and trying to evolve it and trying to change it and trying to, you know, just make something fresh and new and kind of bring it with the times, it just essentially, that's what they're doing. They're just stacking up the ads, stacking up the sponsors and just, just really running it into the ground. No real care for the fans, no real attempt to try and make it entertaining, nothing. Just can we keep this ship going so that the money keeps rolling in? And clearly it's working. But maybe sometime it won't. Who knows? I don't really give a shit. But yeah, that's what um, Brian Callen said. Um, he's staying. He's not going anywhere. He's staying. He's not going anywhere. Cool, I guess. 